Bikes provide an easy and convenient way to transport people and goods. Their shorter turn radius and better mileage have made them a reliable source of travel and transport for many people. In this project, let's build it. Take a three-hole beam, a one-hole beam and a one-hole elbow and join them together. Now take one male axle coupler and slide it into the one-hole elbow. Take a 30mm small axle and attach it to a BO shaft. Connect it to the axle as shown. Now slide the axle through the male axle coupler. Attach another BO shaft to the axle. Repeat this step to create another wheel assembly. Connect them together using a one-hole elbow. Now attach a BO shaft to the one-hole elbow. This completes the front wheel assembly. For the handle, join three one-hole beams, one one-hole elbow, three BO shafts and two 30mm small axles. Now take the motor and driver blocks. Attach the motor shaft between the two parts as shown. Now let's make the middle body of the bike. Attach two two-hole elbows, three three-hole elbows, one one-hole elbow and one one-hole beam to form one half of the body as shown. Repeat the steps with the same set of parts to build the other half. Now take two one-hole elbows and three mm couplers. Join them to the assembly of the previous step. Attach the two half pieces to complete the body assembly. Attach this to the bike handle as shown. Now attach five one-hole beams, two two-hole elbows and one three-hole elbow together. Next attach one three-hole elbow, two two-hole elbows and two one-hole elbows. Now connect these two together via the one-hole beam as shown. Attach one blocks holder to the structure. Take one motor and attach two wheels to it. Now connect the motor holder to the previous structure as shown. Now connect this to the bike body as shown. Connect a battery holder to it. Now attach the battery to the battery holder. The last step is to create the logic for the bikes working. First, connect the power blocks to the Wi-Fi 2 channel blocks. Next connect the two motor driver blocks in vertical manner and then connect them to the Wi-Fi blocks as shown. This completes the logic part. Now let's see how to control our Wi-Fi bike using our phone. First turn on the power blocks. This ensures that Wi-Fi blocks is receiving power. Now turn on your phone's Wi-Fi and go to the phone's Wi-Fi settings. Here search for the Wi-Fi network named Wi-Fi Clip V2. Now connect to the Wi-Fi Clip V2 network by entering the password of the Wi-Fi blocks. The password is mentioned on the Wi-Fi chip. Once the password is entered correctly, it will display connected. Now head over to the Wi-Fi Clip app, select two channel Wi-Fi blocks. There are two channels IE outputs waiting for your command. Attach the blocks logic on the board and voila your Wi-Fi bike is now ready for use.